Welcome back everyone and in this video we will learn about functions in Swift 3. So basically first we will see why we have to create a function. So let's say we have a block of code and we have to run the code 10 or more than 10 times. So instead of write, writing that code again and again what we can do is we can create a function and we can simply call that function and the code will be run automatically whenever we call the function so you will better un understand this when you see this in code so let's say I have a function by which I have to create a square of a number so let's create this function so we have to start the function by giving a keyword called func which basically means function and after that I have to give the name of my function so the name of my function is square of any number and in arguments we will accept a number which will be of type integer and we will return an integer because a in square of an integer is always an integer I will explain how we can create a function but first let's write the whole function and here we can just let answer equal to number into number because this is how we create a so we find the square root of a number and we can do just return answer so here after that we will call the function which is square root of any number so let's say number is 7 and press enter you can see that the answer is displaying here which is 49 so let's understand the function so this is a simple swift keyword which is compulsory when, whenever we are creating a function and this part is the name of our function and this will hold the arguments we can give zero arguments one or more than that suppose we have we are giving zero arguments then we can keep it nil like this but this time we want to take a number because we want to find the square root so our arguments will be 1 and by, by giving this arrow sign we can give the return type basically return type means that what our function will return so in this case it will obviously return an integer because after calculating a square of an integer it will always be an integer so you can see that I am returning an integer and by giving this parenthesis we can write the body of a function so inside our function I have created a constant called ans which is storing the square root and then after that I am just returning the answer basically we can also do this directly like this return number into number we don't need to create an extra line of code it will also output the same thing basically the help of function is that suppose we are not creating a function that then we have to manually find the square root of every number but with the use of square function that we have created we have to just write a single line and we can find square root of many different numbers like this you can see that by writing of by just writing four lines of code we have find the square of four different numbers so this is the power of using functions in any programming language so now let's create a function which does not take any arguments and does not return anything so this is simple function so let's name this function to be print anything it will not take any arguments and it will not return anything so we don't use an arrow just a simple body and let's say inside this function I will print my age so let's say variable age equal to 25 and we can do print my ages now we will use string interpolation 25 so you can see that whenever we call that function 
it will simply print my age is 25 so here you can see that it is printing my age is 25 so now let's create a function which takes more than one argument so let's create a function called multiply which will multiply two different numbers which is given to the function func multiply and let's take two number with further first is an let's take it double because the numbers can also be with decimal places and uh, second is also double and it will return a double we can just simply return first into second so let's now call this function multiply the first number is 10 and the second number is 22 now again call this function the first number is 5 and the second number is 19 again call this function first number is oh sorry it should be 8 and the second number is 87 so now let's see that here are two different arguments and we can separate the arguments by a simple comma which is this and the return type is double and it is returning the double so the 10 to 22 is 220 then 5 into 19 is 95 and the third multiplication is 695 so this is how you can use functions in Swift 3 to simplify your code and also to reduce the amount of code that you are writing in your application. Thanks for watching this video.